And this is what makes them go. They are the most efficient way of moving in any land mammal. They can move farther with the least amount of energy than any other land mammal can. Look at the box. Okay. He does like the box now. <laughs> Buddies. Yeah. Okay, that's about as tall as he's going to get. He's about 10 months old now. He'll be mature in about 14 months. Um, he'll live about 10 years. And they are browsers. They feed on leaves, they feed on grasses and things. Yeah. Is he a kangaroo or a wallaby? He is a fetish wallaby. And wallabies are smaller versions of kangaroos. They are macropods, but they're smaller than that. The reason that we wanted something smaller is, wait, can you imagine having to take care of something that's as small as you are, and you decide that he's going to come at you like this and box with you? You know? All right. Are you going to go back down the floor? He's drifting. Good question. Oh, he can jump quite far. Matter of fact, he's in a cage at home and has six foot high walls on it. You have to put a ceiling on it. Otherwise, he'd jump right out of those six foot high walls. Incredible, incredible feet. The power in those feet, that's the way they're designed. You notice if you look at him, he's got little kind of T Rex legs on him that he can't really, you know, but big, huge back feet. Yeah. And very strange teeth, too. He has teeth of any type of herbivore. So he is going to be able to kind of um, grab and uh, if you see how a horse, uh, horse's teeth are, they have kind of two teeth in the front, two teeth on the bottom, too, and then kind of a space, and then they have teeth in the back that grind up their food. He's got the same thing. He's got a number of stomachs, too, just like a cow would. And so he kind of eats a lot of grasses and things. And then he has a cud, just like a cow would have a cud. Yes, you have a question? What does he eat? What do we give him? We give him a pellet. It's actually a wallaby pellet. Not something you don't go down to the local ad way and buy, but we have to order wallaby pellets for him. But there are places in this country where they raise these, or zoos and things, and we got him from a place that is a kangaroo ranch in Texas. Yes. All right. Well, he is our last animal for the day. I thought it was always nice to stop with him because he really represents what you see in Australia. And if you guys would like to, you can come up and you can see him, all right? But I'd like to thank you first for coming today. Well, that would be really nice. Because he gets a little bit anxious after a while. And we will have to put him away. And I want to see if everyone gets a chance to pet him first before we put him away. All right? So if you've pet him, let's move along. Garrett, did you hear what the man said? And grown up, you're in charge of making sure that they move along. Thank you. 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 Are very nocturnal. Most of this has to do with the fact that where they come from is really, really hot. And they want to be more active when cool. it's cooler. Can you touch it? Okay, ready, guys? Ready, guys? Do you think that was cool? This is my pet. Yeah, totally. I just love that kangaroo. It's like, it's like a, a wallaby. Yeah. It's a wallaby. I know. I just call it a kangaroo because well, it's in the kangaroo family, but it's not a kangaroo. Yeah, it's a kangaroo cousin. No, I know. I'm not saying it's not, I'm saying I know that. Let's see. Wow, that was fun. Nice little surprise. Yeah. Mom, um, Callie, hold on. Stay right there, Hal. Mom, how long did we get the girls. Come on, good boy. Mom, how long did we get the girls?
Lose your feet, lose your feet, lose your feet, lose your feet. Lose your feet? No, lose your feet. No, I know. Lose I'm not. Shuffle your feet. No. Lose your feet. No, but some people say lose your feet, lose your feet. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like American do.